Our topic today is number patterns part two, uh, doing subtraction patterns today. And a number pattern is when you have a series of, of numbers and usually they're from left to right. For example, here we have 775, 725, 675. And your job is to figure out what is happening to these numbers. You see that the numbers are changing and your job is to figure out, well, what change is happening? And that is called the rule. The numbers change, but the rule will stay the same each time. Okay, so what we did here is we took these numbers and we stretched them out so that we can show the steps uh, that would be taking place. But a lot of times you can do it with mental math, but we're going to show those steps down here today. You see we have 775, 725, and 675. Okay, so 775 is the first number, and then it goes to 725. It's not getting bigger. The number's getting smaller. And it's either going to be a subtraction or division rule. When I look at 775, I know that we cannot divide it by any whole number and get 725. So it's going to be more than likely a subtraction rule. So 775 minus blank, because we don't know yet what that is, but we do know that it will equal 725. Now, our job here is to find the blank. And if you remember back in first grade, when you did fact families, and here's an example of an easy fact family, five plus two equals seven, or you could switch it and say two plus five equals seven, and then you would do subtraction, seven minus two equals five, and then switch it and seven minus five equals two. But remember your fact families that you would use the same three numbers. Well, that will help us find this missing number here. What we're going to do is we are going to go 775 minus 725. So we're going to switch that. I'm going to show that right here. So if we subtract 5 minus 5 is 0 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So we have a minus 50, which I'm going to put for my first Rule. Now remember, the rule stays the same, but we do need to make sure that it's working. So I'm going to try it between 725 and 675. We would show it the same, 725 minus 50 will equal 675. Well, let's just prove it today on paper. I'm going to put my 50 down here and subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. I'd have to regroup here. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 6 take away nothing would be 675, and you can see that that definitely checks out. So we know for certain that our rule is going to be a minus 50 rule. Now our job is to figure out the blank. Well, that's easy. We're just going to continue our rule of minus 50. So 675 minus 50, 5 minus 0 is 5, 7 minus 5 would be 2, and 6 in the hundreds take away nothing would be 6. So our last missing number would be 625 using a rule of minus 50. We need to find the rule. This time we're missing our first number. So I'm going to start with the 78. And once again, we stretch this out so that we can show our steps. 78, 56, 34. I see that my numbers are not getting bigger. They're getting smaller again. And I'm pretty sure that I cannot use division of any whole number from 78 divided by any number to get 56, which means that this is going to be a subtraction rule. So. Starting with 78, I'm going to show the steps here. 78 minus blank equals 56. Remember, we can use our fact families and we can switch these numbers. I'm going to go 78 minus our 56 because of fact families. 8 minus 6 is 2. 
and seven minus five is two. So we have a minus 22 rule. Well, it has to be the same. So let's check it out for 56 to 34. So 56, I'll show that down here. Keep it simple, minus 22. Six minus two is four. So that checks out. And five minus two is three. And you can see that we have our 34. Remember that the rule stays the same. Our numbers are changing, but the rule stays the same. So I'm going to write our rule in up here. All right, our job now is to find the blank. So it's going to be 34 minus 22. Four minus two is two, three minus two is one. So our last number here on the right side would be 12. But we still have this one over here. Remember the rule stays the same. We could express that as blank minus 22 equals 78. But remember, this time we're not working from left to right. This time we're working from right to left. In other words, we're doing the opposite. Well, the opposite of subtraction would be addition. So instead of subtracting, we're going to add 78 plus 22. 8 plus 2 is 10. I'm going to regroup my 1. 7, 8, 9, 10. And that would be equal to 100. Go ahead and try this one. Pause for a second and try to find the rule. Okay, let's solve. Find the rule. We have 640, 610, 580. I notice we have a blank to the right that we need to figure out and also one to the left. So let's figure out the rule. Numbers are getting smaller. I do not believe this will be division. I'm pretty sure this is subtraction. So we're going to go 640 minus blank would equal 610. Because of fact families, we can switch the 610 to this and, and be able to use the number that we get here. Zero minus zero is zero. Four take away one is three. And then six take away six is nothing. So what we have here is a minus 30 rule. Let's try it over here. 610 minus 30. Let's see if it equals 580. I'm just going to use the space right here. Why not? Zero take away zero is zero. I'm going to have to regroup here. And that would become 11. 11 minus three would be eight. And then five take away nothing. And that you can see that we have our 580. So we definitely have a minus 30 rule. So let's take 580 minus 30. Zero take away zero is zero. Eight minus three is five. And five take away nothing in the hundreds would be 550 for this one. We still have one more, but remember the rule stays the same. We said that the numbers change in a pattern, but the rule always stays the same. So this time we have blank minus 30 equals 640. But we were working from left to right. This time we have to work from right to left, which is opposite. So instead of subtract, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to add. So 640 plus 30, not minus, plus 30. Zero plus zero is zero. Four plus three would be seven. And six plus nothing would be six. So our first number in this pattern would be 670. All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.